More than a week since Baltimore detective Sean Souter was shot and killed, police have still yet to name a suspect in his murder. Less than 24 hours ago, WJZ brought you breaking news when police revealed stunning new details in the case. Souter was shot just one day before he was set to testify before a grand jury in a police corruption case. Today, WJZ investigator Mike Helgren got his hands on Souter's last radio transmission. A memorial sits between two row homes near Bennett Place. And on Thanksgiving Day, hearts remain heavy here, where Detective Sean Souter's murder remains unsolved. Today is a day of Thanksgiving. Kenny Ebron came here to pray. And we're just forever thankful. And he deserved that prayer. The family deserved that prayer. Our city of Baltimore deserved the prayer. And that's, that's what's on my heart. Police are trying to enhance Souter's last radio transmission. WJZ reviewed recordings from the day of the murder. This was heard about 20 seconds before the first dispatch call for assistance. No. It's unintelligible right now. We don't know exactly what he said, but he was clearly in distress. Wednesday, the commissioner revealed several bombshells that Souter was killed at close range with his own service weapon, that there were signs of a struggle, and that Souter was only one day away from testifying before a grand jury in a case involving officers from an elite gun unit accused of stealing from citizens. Well, I understand the, the, the wild possibilities that, that go through people's minds when we all want answers. I just am, am determined to keep following the evidence. There's nothing that we won't consider. The vacant lot where Detective Souter was shot has now reopened. This is where police had focused their energies and where they found the bullet that killed him. The commissioner insists Souter's partner did nothing wrong. Upon the sound of gunfire, Detective Souter's partner sought cover across the street and he immediately called 911. We know this because it is captured on private surveillance video that we have recovered. The reward is one of the largest ever offered in this type of case, an investigation that now stretches far beyond West Baltimore. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Funeral arrangements for Detective Souter are now complete. A viewing will be held Monday and Tuesday from 3 until 8 p.m. at the Vaughn Green Funeral Home in Randallstown. Souter's funeral will be held Wednesday morning at 11 at Mount Pleasant Church here in Baltimore. Detective Souter will then be laid to rest at Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens.